If your dream machine will not boot and you're getting one of the error messages stating it's taking too long or maybe you're getting message boot fail or any other error messages on your LCD if you have Dream Machine Pro or if you have like a regular Dream Machine and it will just not boot and you try to power cycle multiple times and your Dream Machine just will not start up. So most likely your firmware is corrupted. So we need to boot into recovery mode and we need to upload new firmware. So first thing we need to do, we need to open our internet browser and go to this website and I'll put link in the description below. And if you have Dream Machine Pro, you can just download this file. Right here, we need to click on accept. And then I'm just gonna click on download file. You can just copy URL and paste it in your web browser. Or if you have just a regular Dream Machine capsule, then you'll have to scroll down here and choose just regular Dream Machine. Once your download is finished, we need to boot our Dream Machine into recovery mode. And on a Dream Machine Pro and on a regular Dream Machine, it's basically the same way. First, you have to turn off your device, then press on the reset button, then plug your device back into the power, wait from five to 10 seconds, and then it will boot into recovery mode. Press on a power button. If you have Dream Machine Pro, you'll have to use a paper clip. And if you have regular Dream Machine, on the bottom of the base, there is just a button. Press on it and hold. And at the same time, plug in your power and hold for about five to 10 seconds. And then you can let go the reset button. Once it's put into recovery mode, you will see this screen. And if you are using just a regular Dream Machine, you'll just have to remember that recovery mode IP address is this one right here, 192.168.1.30. Plug in your laptop or your desktop into the Dream Machine. And then on your computer, press on start, and then click on this little gear, go to settings, and then in settings, click on network and internet. Then in here, choose ethernet, and then press on change adapter options. Then in here, choose your adapter, right click on it and then click on properties and then choose IPv4 and then click on properties. And now we'll have to set up static IP address. Just type in here 192.168.1 and I'm just gonna use .11 and then press tab, lift the subnet mask and then press OK and then close. Then we can minimize this window and we can minimize this one. And right here, we need to type that recovery IP address, the one that we saw on our LCD screen. And if you have just a regular Dream Machine, just type 192.168.1.30 and then press enter. And then it will take you to this page. This is going to be recovery mode. And then right here, there's a couple options we can do. We can reset to factory default, reboot, power off, check file system. What I'm going to do, firmware update. I'm going to click on choose and then in here I'm going to navigate to downloads and then, then downloads. I'm going to choose that file, the one that I just downloaded, that bin file, and then I'm going to click on open. It's going to upload and then it's going to update my dream machine to that specific firmware, the one that I just uploaded. And that theoretically should fix your error issues or your boot issues on a startup. So I'm going to wait a few minutes. And if you have a Dream Machine Pro, you can see on your little LCD screen that your Dream Machine is updating. Now it's rebooting your device. Once your system fully reboots, in your web browser, just type 192.168.1.1 and then press enter because this is Dream Machine default IP address and hopefully that firmware update or reinstalling firmware fix your booting problem and now you can boot in your Dream Machine and set up and use it again. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.